Hey what's going on guys, John here and today I wanted to do a video review and really give some explanation around the Generac. Uh, this is basically an automatic transfer switch. This also has a manual uh, switch option in it. So what I'm going to do in this video is just walk you through the transfer switch itself, talk a little bit about the experience I had with the installation on this, um, having a contractor out here, an electrician, and then I'll also show you some of the setup in the house and how we were able to use this with the manual option during a power outage. So let's first start with the box. Um, as you can see, this does take up a decent amount of space. We're basically just utilizing this here next to all the other equipment we have. Um, the house here does have solar, so that's why we have two of these meters, and then this box here is for the solar. Um, this basically allows us to, in a power outage, have um, a point of contact basically between us and the grid. Um, basically, it's an in-between sort of middleman um, between our panel inside the house, our main panel, and um, the rest of the system coming off of the grid here from the uh, town. Um, essentially, the way that this works is um, if you have a actual standby Generac unit, um, what would happen is during an outage, this will automatically cut over the power that generator would kick on, and typically something like that would be powered with propane or um, natural gas that's running through the ground. And at that point, um, you're pretty much safe and good to go. You know, if the power went out at three in the morning, it, the generator's gonna kick on and then all of your appliances and everything in your house will continue remaining to work. Um, in my case, um, I actually decided to utilize a um, regular um, little standby generator, you know, a portable generator that's on wheels. So I'm gonna kind of show you how our setup works. And one of the reasons I decided to get this, even despite not having the full Generac um, standby generator. This actually allows us to have an upgrade option path in the future. So if we do decide to get the Generac unit, we can do that. But this also has a manual option in it. So this comes with a small screw here on the base. This basically just unscrews and you can see it kind of sits on this lip down here. So if we take this off, um, I'll show you what this would look like in terms of a manual option. So this screw comes out and then this whole plate, this will actually come out from the bottom. I'm just gonna put this guy over here so we don't lose it. This will pop off. And now basically um, you can see we have the main utility disconnect. This is gonna remain on at all times. And now we also have this almost pen-like object. We can actually take this out and there's actually a slit that we can put this into right down over here where my finger is. Um, we would put that in and then basically manually um, you know, crank this down and that's essentially gonna shut us off from the grid. So we're not gonna have any power coming in even despite um, power coming back on. So with the remainder of this, um, what we're now able to do is, in my case, I would go switch this off during a power outage. You know, we see that all the neighbors have lost power, the whole area has lost power. I can now go over to my 50 amp, so I'll show you what this would look like. I'm gonna just run around the side of my house here and uh, show you where I have that all connected kind of give you the final look at everything. But um, we had one outage where I was able to test this so far and that worked out pretty well. And um, we have a pretty large property. In fact, we actually have two 200 amp breakers because I've got another one here in our garage. And both of them are all connected off the main panel. And I was able to run a portable generator that is supported, I believe this one is roughly up to about 13,000 watts. And that transfer switch really worked perfectly to do this. So coming in here, this is kind of our basement area. We have this 50 amp connection here up in the ceiling that the prior owner had actually put in. So I'll open this port up and I have a cable over here. This is basically our 50 amp cable. This will then connect into that 50 amp. Um, and then I take our large generator here. I have this Duramax one. So um, this kind of gives me the complete package. This runs off either gasoline or propane and you can't even get them so they run off natural gas. Um, I basically will wheel this outside, you know, right back here. So that way we're not being affected by carbon monoxide. You can't run this inside, indoors anywhere. And then essentially I plug this into this guy and I fire this up. And because the transfer switch is now off, um, this is now ready to power the entire house. I do have um, some capabilities through my smart electric panel where I'm able to monitor usage and that Generac transfer switch worked perfectly. Um, in terms of you know, costs from the electrician, um, you are gonna be spending some money to obviously go in and have them do the installation of that panel. And then ultimately you're gonna have them connect um, something like this, like a 50 amp um, 
to your exterior somewhere. I recommend probably putting this outside. This was something done by, again by the prior homeowner. So I'd probably have this put, like in my case, I would have preferred to have it out here, like on the wall somewhere, you know, where I could easily connect to it while outdoors. And this is obviously fully designed to be outdoors. So I may relocate this at a later date. Um, but this pretty much works as is, um, as intended without any issues. So um, ultimately, I think um, this is a great combination if you're looking for just something starter that gives you future proofing, you know, get a standby generator, have your electrician wire up the 50 amp, get a standard 50 amp um, here. This is a 30 footer. Um, this one will actually legitimately reach from here, kind of going all the way out through the back. So make sure you have enough length that you can run the generator at a distance. This one obviously was enough. And then at that point, um, during the power outage, all you have to do is run out to the Generac box, um, flip that manual switch, and when the power comes back on, all you simply have to do is power down your generator and then go flip that breaker back up and your power will be restored right from the grid. Anyway, I hope that helps um, in your decision and gives you some ideas of what to do, whether or not you decide to go with the uh, Generac power switch and whether or not you buy something additional like a generator, I do recommend this is kind of a good entry level starter package and eventually going with the larger Generac generator itself when you have the funds to do so. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this helpful.